Hello, welcome again to the Training Centre. Today I'd like to show you the correct application when using Permahide High Tech 480 and painting this Reflex Silver Hood. A few points to remember before I begin application. I've checked the climate and using the climate guide that I find in the TDS, I've adjusted the base coat using the standard setting. My gun is a 1.2. I've set the inlet pressure at two bar with the paint flowing. While I'm applying, all of the functional parts will be fully open. The trigger will be fully pulled to ensure that I'm using the full width of the fan, full delivery of fluid. I'll be applying the base coat in a one and a half coat process, whereby I start here on the outside, applying at a normal distance, a full but not over wet coat, working towards the center of the hood. I will then come back, increase my distance to the object, again with a full trigger, and apply a controlled effect coat to top up my hiding and give me good effect orientation and mottling control. To help you follow my painting sequence, I've placed these arrows here that you can see. The idea is that I work from the outside of the hood in towards the centre, finishing on the orange arrow with my full coat, before returning here, increasing my distance and working with my effect coat in towards the green arrow. I will then move to the other side. I pick up the wet film from the orange arrow, work back towards myself before going again to the wider area and the green arrow at an increased distance, completing the effect coat to give me the control and orientation I'm looking for. And in doing it in this way, I will avoid any banding or striping in the center of the hood. Now, normally that would be my base coat application completed. However, I want to take the opportunity to share with you a little tip or a little trick. If you see something that you're not happy with in terms of mottling or effect, what we can do is apply one more controlled effect coat into the wet film, but again at a more increased distance. If you'd like to watch, I'll show you now. That's the base coat application completed. 
Come in now, let's just take a look at the wet film before I flash it off, ready for clear coat. What I wanted to show you was this nice surface structure or texture, whatever you'd like to call it, that's completely uniform across the hood, even allowing for the fact that I shared with you that little tip about applying one extra coat to correct any mottling that might be present. I'm gonna flash this off now, as I say, in readiness for clear, and I know that I'm gonna have a perfect flat surface. Here's the base coat after flash. Come and let's just take a quick look before we apply the clear. You will remember from before, the base coat had a, a structure and a texture that we spoke about. Now, it's completely flowed out, dried out. We have a nice, silky, flat, super smooth finish on which I can apply the clear. So if you apply your base coat in this way, you too will get the right result every time. Here's the final job after clear coat drying. As you can see, great result, no problems at all. Just one final tip. If you want to use that additional effect coat to correct any mottling, please make sure you do it directly into the wet film. If it's starting to flash off, it's already too late. So that was my final check. I'm gonna put the car outside and take a look at it in daylight. So here we have the job for the, uh, the final inspection. If you come in a little bit closer and take a look, you'll see just as we thought in the spray booth, no clouding, no mottling, great finish from the gun. The job's ready to go. Please refer to the uh, tips at the end of this video. Thanks for your time. See you again soon. To ensure that you control the build-up of unnecessary overspray, please make sure that you keep the effect coat well within the limits of the first. With some difficult colours, it may be necessary to apply a second effect coat to fix any mottling or clouding. This should be made at a greater distance than the normal effect coat and should only be applied into the wet base coat surface. Maintaining structure in the wet film is key. This will help you avoid clouding and will help improve colour accuracy. Take care not to over wet or over apply the base coat.